Mark Pasolano with WFX Live. I'm standing here with Tom Stewart of Stewart Film Screen Corporation. Um, how are you doing today, Tom? I'm doing fine, thank you. Great. Um, so, Tom, tell us a little bit about Stewart Film Screen Corporation, um, when you were started, how long you've been in the business, uh, who started the business, and why? Okay, we've been in business since 1947. My grandfather started the business um, with one of his sons, and then it became uh, Stewart uh, Film Screen uh, Corporation uh, and what we did initially was um, for the movie industry we made a lot of film and then the film was uh, used in special effects in the movie industry uh, and then we did a lot of work with Disney and different uh, companies when Disney got started in 1954 and uh, then it's just taken off from there we do a lot of work uh, with churches and uh, with governments and museums and just all over the world we, we sell this film. What makes uh, Stuart Film Screen's products so special for the worship market? Well, the, the worship market has uh, something going against it in that there's a lot of ambient light usually in the sanctuary and our products reject ambient light. Um, we make front projection, rear projection type of products that are uh, a high rejection or the high contrast type screens we call them. Uh, for the church market, for any area where there's a lot of ambient light uh, being used. So why are Stuart film screens more expensive than other screens? Well, it's the quality of the screen product. We actually uh, guarantee the screens for a long period of time. They usually last between 15, 20, maybe even 25 years. So you might go through three or four different uh, projectors uh, in the technology-wise in that time period. But the screens are going to be there for you uh, and of a high quality and, and long-lasting uh, type. So you pay a little bit more up front, but then they last 15 to 20 years. Um, give me a little insight on what you see the future of two-piece projections be, uh, screens being. Well, the images are always getting larger, so where if it's a small venue or a large venue like uh, a church sanctuary, uh, people want larger images. Uh, the quality, the brightness of the images are getting better. Uh, the optical characteristics of the screen materials are constantly being improved. We have a large uh, engineering and uh, research and development department that uh, works very hard at um, creating new fabrics for uh, various applications. Okay, this uh, on the left you see the white screen product. That is our product, but it's a, a white screen. We have a lot of ambient light. Um, we created uh, gray screen and silver screen technology uh, for the church market, especially in front projection and this screen uh, will cancel out a lot of the issues with ambient light. As you can see on the left, our screen, but it's white. Uh, on the right, uh, it's a gray screen, and it enhances the black levels of the image, so you get much higher contrast. Okay, this is, uh, screen is called our cabaret screen. It's a uh, smaller electric roll-down type screen. It has a nice finish on it. It would go good in any architecture. We make them in all different colors, uh, all different sizes, uh, and this has our Firehawk material which uh, rejects uh, ambient light. The screen we're standing in front of, um, what, what model is this? What, uh, what is this best used for? This is a rear projection glass screen. It's called the Crystal View. Um, it works extremely well with high ambient light. You can see we have a lot of ambient light in this uh, convention center and the screen performs quite well with, with high ambient light. Uh, it comes in much larger sizes. This is uh, one of the smaller sizes. Um, and it's perfect for the church market. Well, I want to thank uh, Tom Stewart from Stewart Film Screen Corporation, Vice President, uh, for uh, taking a few minutes with us at WFX Live.